All pupils um, start Latin in year seven. It's a great leveller. No matter where you have come from, everybody will start the subject together. We make sure in year seven that we offer a good grounding in the basics of Latin, as well as spending time studying life in Pompeii, leading up to the eruption of Mount Vesuvius. In year eight, all pupils will continue with us, but while we continue to develop their understanding of Latin, we like to spend a little bit more time examining the ancient world more broadly. By year nine, the pupils are beginning to decide whether they will continue with a classical subject, either Latin or classical civilization, and in year 10, they can choose um, whether they want to carry on to GCSE with us. It's worth noting that classical civilization can be picked up at A level as a new subject with no prior learning required. So I started doing Latin in lower four. I remember thinking it was so much not like maths. Latin has almost like a formula. So it's got a sequence to it and you have to follow rules. And it's so much like maths in that sense. And I've always loved maths. And so it made so much sense to me, it just clicked. I fell in love with the subject really, um, because it's just, it's just fun. I think that's the best thing about Latin and you learn so much because there's, there's, there's such a wide variety. It helps your brain and it's got so much problem solving skills involved with it. That helps with my maths and it's got so many words and derivations that help with my chemistry as well. And I can see links and even, even when I'm watching Harry Potter, I see the links in Latin again and it's so exciting to read and watch and hear Latin and I realise that Latin is all around. Learning Latin and classical civilization really is an opportunity that not all children in this country have. So I really see it as something to look forward to and enjoy. Classical subjects add a unique element to a child's education, which we are extremely pleased to offer here at King's.